Another way of finding genes is to fuse a human cell with a mouse cell so that the resultant hybrid cell has the whole host of human and mouse cell chromosomes. When the cell divides, what typically happens is that some chromosomes can be lost over a number of generations before a cell line stabilizes and then maintains the chromosomes which it has. So thus, if you do this many times, you will have a variety of cell lines, each possessing different human chromosomes, some but not all. After you have these cell lines, you can then test them all for a specific protein or enzyme or, or, or just a, a product of choice, whatever it is that you are looking for. And then if you isolate all of the cell lines which possess this particular protein that you're looking for, and then uh, you ask uh, which chromosomes do all of these cell lines possess, this can help you identify which chromosome the gene for that protein is on. So if in this case all of the cell lines which express this protein given here have this long chromosome uh, and there is no other chromosome which is shared in all of uh, these cell lines then the gene for this human protein must be located on this human chromosome. Obviously since there are also mouse chromosomes in these cells you must pick a protein which can be distinguished from a corresponding protein in mice.